Welcome back into the DFS Den. It's Dave Eddie here, a.k.a. Corporal Eddie on Twitter. And let's get back into some baseball here. My top stack today is going to be Atlanta, and it's going to be for a few reasons. Uh, first of all, I think that they're the third highest expected run total on the slate for tonight. So hopefully that kind of pushes down ownership a little bit. And they're also going up against Taewon Walker, who, even though the Braves just lit him up uh, the last time that they met not too long ago, he has been a pretty good pitcher this season. So I'm hoping that that kind of pushes exposure down as well. But Atlanta's a team that, you know, we've been able to to stack all season long for the most part, and they've got the potential to, to really blow things up. Now, when I'm looking at the hitter that I like there the most, I think the obvious answer would be like someone like Ronald Lacuna, but I am seeing a drastic misprice, at least on DraftKings, for Vaughn Grisham. He is still the absolute stone nuts minimum, and I don't understand why that is. He's got a hit in all five of his games so far this season. Four of those five have been a multiple hit effort, and he's got three straight multiple hit efforts. So at only 2,000 on DraftKings, I feel like he's kind of got to be slid in there. You can go ahead and, you know, wrap him around with your stack and, you know, you can use a nine hitter and wrap it around up through the top of the order there um, without any trouble whatsoever. So that's where I'm looking there. The other hitter I'm looking at is Mitch Hanniger. Uh, He's going up against lefty Suarez of the Angels. So we got a nice little righty versus lefty matchup there. And Hanniger has been pretty good. He's got a hit in 12 straight games. Uh, Granted, he's only got one home run in that mix, but... He's a guy who's going to be batting right in the heart of that order. And so, you know, whenever the Mariners score runs, he's going to be a big part of it. When we get to pitching today, it's kind of status quo. Looking at the very top with Justin Verlander uh, on the road against the White Sox. Verlander has just been an absolute pillar of consistency. And that's where I like to spend my money is on things that are not going to be too volatile. No reason to expect him not to get at least six innings. And probably at least, you know, six strikeouts for us. And then there's a lot of other good pitching options up and near the top, but they've all got pretty good matchups. So I'm actually looking to go down just a smidge here to Robbie Ray. Uh, He is on the road against the Angels. The Angels have been a team that, you know, we've been targeting for quite a while. And outside of two back-to-back starts against Houston um, about two weeks ago here, um, Ray has been really good. And the reason for that is he's been going deep in games and same thing to Verlander. He's getting lots of strikeouts. So again, we should expect to see, you know, at least six innings and at least six strikeouts from him as well. So those are the places that I'm looking today. Um, hopefully you're following along. If you haven't done so already, pop over here and subscribe to the channel. You can turn on the notifications. So you get an alert as soon as the video comes out and I wish you all the best of luck today. See you tomorrow.